Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk about FileCut Pro's new object and face tracker. As you can see, this is a pretty cool new feature for FileCut. As you drag the effect over the footage, it will automatically identify faces or objects and then track those throughout your video footage. And we're going to show you how to use it and how to do skin retouching with that using Digital Anarchy's Beautybox plugin. And of course, Beautybox is our award-winning plugin for doing skin retouching. You can grab a free trial over at digitalanarchy.com. It's widely used on feature films, music videos, corporate videos, all sorts of good stuff. So now that you know what we're going to do, let's get into it and do it. All right, so I'm in Final Cut, and I've got uh, a clip here with two people in it. And this is one of the instances where this object or face tracker will really be useful. A clip with two people in it and you really only want to retouch one of them and in this case we have the woman on the left that has a little bit of skin damage on her face and so we're going to use beauty box to touch that up so we can grab the beauty box effect from the effects panel and we're going to drag that over on top of the footage and you can see that as i drag it across the footage it will identify faces it will identify objects in this case a person but in this case, we're gonna drag it on top of the first woman and drop it there. And now we need to expand the area that we're gonna track. And so we actually wanna get all of her skin here on her chest and neck and face. So we're gonna make this pretty big, expand this out. Now, one cool thing is you can grab the little ball here and move that to adjust the shape of the mat. And this is just going to create a garbage mass for us. We're still going to use the mass that Beautybox creates once it identifies skin tone, but this is going to do a great job of isolating just this one woman and not affecting the woman on the right. So once we have this mass shape more or less the way we want it, now we press the Analyze button, and Final Cut Pro is going to go through the entire footage and track that mask, track her face, track the other skin areas and now if we move through this footage you can see that my garbage mat is moving along with the talent so that's an awesome easy way of creating a garbage mask and now we can come into beauty box we'll show the original mask and then of course come down here and click on analyze frame and beauty box is going to analyze the footage figure out what the skin tones are and then build a mask based on that and we can see now if we move through the footage, not only is she masked out so that the effect is only being applied to the woman on the left, now we're making use of the beauty box mask to control what areas of the skin are being retouched. So it's a really powerful combination. And so now once I have all this set up, I can turn the mask off and I can come into the beauty box controls and make some adjustments here to dial in the skin smoothing just the way I want it. Now in this tutorial, we're really just talking about the face tracker and how that works with Beautybox. We have lots of other tutorials at digitalanarchy.com that goes much deeper into Beautybox and explains all of these parameters. But the basics is the first thing you wanna do is click analyze frame. That will analyze the footage, figure out what the skin tones are, and then build that mask that we saw before and then the next step is to come in and adjust the smoothing amount and that will let you set up the look that you want to have for your talent and after we're done with that of course we can play it back and because beauty box is gpu accelerated that's going to play in real time or near real time all right and i can play back the before and after and you can see exactly how good of a job beauty box did while using the final cut pro face tracker and so that's really all there is to it. You just drag and drop Beauty Box onto your clip. It identifies the face. Once we have the face tracker set up, you can then go in and set up the mask that Beauty Box creates and then dial in the amount of skin smoothing that you want to have. So it's a really easy way of doing some professional level skin retouching, making your talent look a lot better, dealing with any skin problems, any makeup problems. Sometimes you have harsh lighting. Beauty Box can help a lot with that as well. And like I said, there's a lot more tutorials on digitalanarchy.com. 
that will show you beauty box in depth and explain all of these parameters. But in this tutorial, we really just wanted to touch on how beauty box works with Final Cut Pro's new features. So thanks for joining me. Head on over to digitalanarchy.com. Again, there's tutorials there. You can grab the free trial of beauty box and see how it works on your footage. It is a really easy way of doing some really high quality skin retouching. And of course, you can always hit us up at sales at digitalanarchy.com. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next tutorial.